it's, it's so beautiful and I'm, I'm so thankful for you all that you found it important to bring in students to speak to that today. And what I would love to do, I would love to invite some of those students to, to step into this spot today um, and speak. And, and I tell you what, we've got, we've got a rock star way of doing this. So we're going to bring you up one at a time. But we're, so we're, we're, we're going to, uh, let's honor each and every one of these wonderful um, students that have uh, taken it upon themselves to prepare, but also just speak from the heart today around their fierce urgency of now. And Benji, I believe he's probably going to go grab a pronunciation over there. So let's hit this. We're going to get this right. And we do have our DJ in the back. Give it up for DJ Juan in the back. He's got some music lined up. He's going to bring a lot yep. of each one of them with a special a song. Who's our first uh, school? I, I don't know if you all are even ready for this, but we got uh, Harry Garcia from Eagle Valley. Give it up for him.
as you can see, I love school. <laughs> um, and also, as a future educator, I want my students to feel safe and supported, and to have a teacher who will always have their back, no matter what, unless it's really crazy, then no. Um, and, I also <laughs> and I also want you guys to feel supported and accomplished, because change is difficult. I understand a lot of you guys are gonna have a hard time, but when it's over and when it's, you know, it's never done, but when you accomplish it, it'll be so good. It'll feel so great to be like, I did that, since I did that. <laughs> and, you know, we have to work together because together we can achieve greatness and separate, we just kind of doom ourselves to not being able to accomplish what we set our mind to. So thank you and I hope that in this long journey we, we can work together and really make an impact. So, oh, that was, uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so why is equity urgent? Well, first of all, equity means that treating equity means treating every student the same. Equity means making sure every student has the support they need to be successful, and it's just that simple. And that's why it's so urgent. So every single student in the district feels successful, and I think that, that that's our goal here. That's why I want to go into education, specifically early childhood education. So um, that's why it's so urgent to make sure that every student in this district feels and is successful. Now, I feel like equity needs to be, it's a term that needs to be maintained. See, we, we use it a lot and it gets dull. Um, the only way to keep it sharp is through testimony, stories of, of you know, all the people here. What's most important is you need to have your own definition of equity. Like, how has equity affected you? I, I personally didn't know what equity was. I, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand why there was an achievement gap. As cliche as it was, I found the answer within me. I, um, I found out that I, my peers and I, we, we have a certain privilege. I have the privilege to live for the future. Many of my classmates don't. Many of my classmates are forced to live in the present. They, they have to fill in for an adult, whether it's work that is paid or work that is, you know, taking care of a sibling, taking care of the house, or whatever kind of work it is, they are forced to live in the present. And with our political turmoil right now, some of them don't know if they're going to be here the next day. So they're living day by day. Now, there is a way to fix this. It is urgent that we commit to a system that reinforces equity. See, these kids aren't going home and thinking about uh, equity. They're thinking about, what am I going to give my little sibling? How, how am I going to make money? If we reinforce it, you know, they're going to say, well, this equity stuff sounds kind of important, dog. Like, you know, it's, it's important. But uh, we can't stop there. It's not enough. You know, having educated students is not enough. And I know that's weird to say, but we need to find a way that these students take this information home. See, a, a lot of the parents think they don't have time to read the newsletters, they don't have time to watch the news, they just they don't have the time because they're living day by day. The only way they can get this information is through their kids. Right? So, with a system that reinforces equity, these kids can go home and tell them, hey, mom, I'm sorry, I, I'm not going to be able to maintain you in old age, but this is a retirement fund. Surprisingly enough, there's, there's many adults that don't know what a retirement fund is. They, they could go talk about, here's where our money's coming from. Here's where the money's going. Here's how we can give ourselves a little bit of leverage. This is how they can live for the future. They can start taking the opportunity. See, we can provide all the opportunities in the world. But if these kids don't want to take it or don't have the ability to take it, there is no reason to give them the opportunities. So let's let kids live for the future. All right, everybody. Just, just a wild idea, but how about uh, Tia Harry, 2020? <laughs> 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 you can go 
work out the president and vice president like we're going to work that out. But yeah, I think um, it's it, it's really, I think, valuable. I think every, everyone's sharing their personal story. Um, thank you all so much for stepping into this space. Uh, you all want to do any uh, background dancing to our final song today? Yeah, I, mean, I know you do, for sure. But, uh, are you okay if we kick off with a final song, really kind of in celebration of, of this intergenerational partnership? Students. Okay, they're gonna dance off to the side, because of what, what they decided. Um, 